Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In our last episode, we got the hydrogen generator. Well, we didn't get the hydrogen generator running, but we got our oxygen electrolyzer working, and eventually the hydrogen will start getting to the generator. I just don't feel the need yet to set up another gas pump. I know it would... Maybe I should, because it'll just make it more efficient altogether. Because if I don't set up another gas pump, this will only ever run at half speed, and that's just limiting it. The problem is I can't... Hmm. Yeah, it uses up more water if we do it the other way. And I already have all these guys for oxygen generation. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, what do we got? Sure. Take some random oxalite. Won't hurt. Um, I already have 700 kilograms of it. Yeah, so I just don't need that much oxygen is the thing. But this is kind of bothering me how terrible this is. <laughs> and part of the point of it is to generate power. Which... It's kind of interesting. How much power will we actually generate? I mean, because what did we do? We did the math, and it, it's not going to end up generating that much. This makes 800. This uses 120. Two of these would use 480, plus 120 is uh, 600. And then a single filter would bump it up to... I hate that filters use this much power. Um... A single filter would bump it up to 720, so we'd only be netting 80 watts. Now, we're netting 80 watts plus a crap ton of oxygen. So, it's it's not nothing. And we could get another 80, uh, 80 watts, because about 10% more net power, if we had more than one hydrogen generator. So... Hmm. We'd net about 160 if I would plop another hydrogen generator over here. That's 160 for free as long as I have a kilogram per second of water. Hmm. We do have ice everywhere. There's a lot of water in this map in the form of ice. So I'm tempted to just set it up so that it runs all the time. It's not a ton of free power, but it is free power. We will need to get this bottle emptier figured out in a more automated solution. I did not do the best job setting this up in a way that's easy to modify. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just make this official. I, I think I, I would like to do that. So we'll copy... Uh, that guy up here. I'll need the filter next to it, though, so I need... Um... The filter's a 3 by one tile. Where do I fit all this? I don't really want this to be a huge chamber. I guess I could do it like this. And then we copy the filter. Oops, R does not rotate again. Um, the problem is I'm playing different games at the same time and they end up, you know, competing with what hotkey does what. <laughs> okay, so this will filter specifically hydrogen to go there. Everything else will go the other way. Um, gas pipe. That the filtered one is the hydrogen. Which I need another one of these. We'll just have to mine out the area is the main thing. Connect it with wire. Oh crap. Ah nuts. Never mind. 
uh, they generate 800 watts, so I would need heavy watt wire to handle two of those on the same thing. So I'd have to do heavy watt wire, and then a battery, and then a transformer. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to do all that. So I won't. Instead, we'll just do it this way. Cast ports cannot overlap, so I could do it like that. Basically, need the oxygen to get out of here. Um, maybe a better way is we rotate that way for the oxygen, and it goes down to there. And I think it'll just go past. I don't know exactly how that'll work. And that'll connect to the hydrogen port. And then we will be able to delete that gas. Oh, we'll be able to delete that gas filter. Right, right, right. Okay, so unlock that. Unlock that. We can just deconstruct that gas filter. Because this one will always be getting the hydrogen. Although technically the hydrogen will slowly build up, is that right? Because... Well, no, it's not going to stay in the chamber. And we can do a pressure sensor to turn on or off the gas pump eventually. Unreachable... I thought I unlocked... Oh, we need someone to unlock it. Okay. So another thing I just realized is we've got the 30 degree water coming in and that's creating 30 degree gases, which could be a slight problem. I'm going to let this water, what, what temperature water does this make? 25? Probably just leave it at 25. Now that this is all insulated, it might just stay at 25. Um, how much water is in this tile? 166 kilograms. Okay. I'll wait until we've got a few missing tiles of water to start filling, but I do think an automated ice melter is something I really want. So I just need metal for that. And we need a... What are we researching right now? Oh yeah, we're going for the incubators. Okay, this is all set up, so I need power wires. Connect you two. Is that an unreachable build? Or can they can they build up that high? One, two, three, four. I thought they can only go up four. Maybe they can go up five. Oh, they can hop on top of the airlock. That's convenient. Worked out nicely. Okay, so then you need to be Hydrogen. Hydrogen. And did I not set up everything? Oh, it seems I did not. So the Hydrogen goes that way. I'm just going to leave that pipe. Uh, this one, though, does need to be hooked up there. And we should, if we're lucky, be good to go. And this will be a self-powering-ish. The problem is the battery is lossy. I need metal to build a smart battery. The smart batteries are technically still lossy, but I think it's a tiny, tiny amount. Yeah, now we're generating. Well, there we go. So yeah, this should basically power itself, minus battery losses. And I think this is far enough down that it'll never see hydrogen. I'm pretty sure there are much smaller builds than this that people have come up with. And we could have the hydrogen generator on the outside of this. There's really no reason it needs to be on the inside. What achievement did we earn? Um, oh, distribute. A ton of oxygen using gas fields. 
And now I have the Atmos sensor and farm station, fertilizer, refrigerator, hydroponic farm. What does the hydroponic farm do? It automates irrigating crops, but is that only crops that need a fluid? Because, like, this needs phosphorite. So I don't think it would do anything for pike apples, right? That's only for crops that have, like, a liquid that they need. This is where my my memory is just not helping me with the old oxygen not included. Oh, yeah, I'm doing a high-pressure gas vent. That's what I wanted. Oh, yeah, it needs plastics? Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we're not going to see that for a long time. What I do think I want to do is set up power generation. So, the question is, setting it up right above the bushes might be a bad idea, though, because it's going to create heat. Um... And what I was thinking is we could do coal. We could go get that coal. I just don't think it's going to last very long. I forget. What's the usage rate on coal? Because we got like 600 kilograms per tile here. The power usage rate of coal is 20 grand. No. Kilogram a second. So 600. Yeah. So each tile of that coal is only one day. That does not feel like enough coal. So maybe I nix that. And how much wood did I need again to run this thing? The wood burner is even more than that. 720 kilograms a day, which would require 12 floxen. Shearing 12 flocks in consistently, which is not something I can easily do. So yeah, power is a little tricky on this one because coal is not plentiful. That's kind of what you normally do. There might be more coal that I'm not seeing. Uh, I could go on a journey to go find out. What are some other power generation options we have? Wood, hydrogen, and coal is it for right now. Um, what else do we get? Petroleum, oil, and natural gas. So those are probably the ones we want. That's the long-term one. And we're going to need the polymer press as well. Uh, we need all sorts of stuff. Uh, why don't I... What is conductive wire? That's new. Huh. Is it like regular wire, but better? And it, unlike heavy watt, it can be run through? That's probably what it is. I need to make the metal refinery. Oh, and that heats, right, it needs a coolant? Uh, I forgot all about that kind of stuff. Hmm, I could use polluted water as the coolant. <laughs> um, geez. Okay, where do I... What is it? Refinement? Metal refinery? Let's just build it over here. Slow heating, extra overheat temperature. We need heavy watt wire. For now, I'm just going to make one of those generators, and then we're going to need plumbing, uh, liquid pipe. I would do radiant liquid pipe, but I can't. So we'll pipe something in, and then out. And I actually want that to be more conductive.
And then I could do like temp shift plates, which is where uh, utilities. Uh -huh. And I could do like a temp shift plate right there and there. And hopefully we can get a fluid flowing kind of in a circle that doesn't get too hot. I might need some some ice over here or something. Let's see what the temperature ends up being. The problem is this is abyssalite. Can I mine? I think I can mine abyssalite now. Uh, let's see. Cinnabar ore to mercury. Oh, cinnabar does not make metal. I did not realize that. I mean, it makes sense now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Even in Greg Tech New Horizons, cinnabar turns to mercury. Um, but mercury is not what we want. Mercury needs to be extremely cold to be a solid metal. So what what does it actually produce? Mercury at what temperature? Hmm. I guess whatever temperature the ore is at. So mercury will be pretty much a liquid unless we get it to negative 40 which that's way too cold that's way too cold okay so that's not gonna happen um and i don't really have any other options other than water right now unfortunately so i need a bottling station uh, what do i need no, I don't need another bottling station. What I need is a dumping station. And potentially a thermo aqua tuner, though those take a crap ton of power too. Okay, you're low priority. Stop, stop that, stop that. Get out of there. Um, okay, so what I want is a plumbing, a little emptier. Wait, what? What's your problem? Germs? Are we having a germ problem? No. I don't know what they're. Thinking about. Um, hmm. I could just pipe over. Pipe over the water. That's probably easier. Oh, but I need insulated pipes, which are expensive again. Maybe not. Maybe I just build a new pump. And then the problem is this is going to get jammed up. Probably going to get too hot. We're going to have all sorts of issues. Uh, I do think polluted water is better now that I, I just had this thought that the boiling temperature is higher. Yeah, it's 120. So we'd end up better off with polluted water. Um, yeah, and I need some sort of... Liquid meter valve. Automatically turn liquid flow on or off. Basically, I just want 
Oh, I just realized what I did here. That's not gonna work. I need a tile. No, no, no. Not there. Oh my gosh. I keep misclicking. <laughs> oh, okay. I was trying to build the middle tile of it. That's what I was missing. Alright, build that over there. You guys are gonna need a ladder to walk on. is total chaos. I kind of like having no idea what I'm doing, but sometimes it's a little uh, disconcerting. Pick up the wire. Stop! I Did I not disable that? It's even low priority and people are still doing it. Jeez. Alright. Do all that. We're going to have to pump the CO2 out of here as well, because well, it finds its way over here eventually. I do love that we have all the oxygen we could ever need. But the heat relative to zero degrees... Oh my gosh, this is so obnoxious that you can't type on this. Um, things are slowly starting to warm up. But mostly still very cold. Until I insulate the whole base, not much is going to change. So I'm worried that these pipes are not going to conduct enough, but they are... Um, they are... What's the word I'm looking for? Liquid pipe. Uh, they're not granite. What? I swear I changed the material. I swear I changed the material to cinnabar ore. I did this. I already did that. I know I did that. Um, interesting. But yeah, what I need is a sensor. Is it? Uh, that'll slow things down, but I mean, I guess I'll just have to deconstruct it real quick, connect it, and then disconnect it. Or maybe I do a liquid valve and I eventually just turn it off. That's probably the easiest solution. Power wire, no liquid output. Okay, we're gonna fix both of those. Pump not in liquid. We're gonna fix all that. And we're gonna get auto bottling on that. So let's start dumping some water in here. These temp shift plates should help quite a bit. I forget exactly what it does. Uh, I think it basically just looks at all nine tiles around it and is constantly exchanging with all of them. So it ends up highly accelerating temperature changes because of that. We'll see if that ends up working out. Do I need one more ladder here now? Probably do. Okay. And now I just need a battery. Grab that heavy watt wire, copy, connect. I need a tile. Might just work, y'all. kilograms of algae. Okay. Sure. I definitely don't want more dupes yet. I guess I have a cot for one. Food-wise, I'm doing fine. 
the temperature over here is becoming a problem. But I can pretty easily fix the temperature problem by having some radiant pipes later on that, that just go over to, you know, where's the coldest area? So if negative 22 is my central, then we've got some extra cold areas over here, right? This is all negative 30. There's ethanol over here? What? Ooh. Ethanol. Heat capacity is 2.4. Would that work better than water? What's water's heat capacity? No, four. Water has a lot of heat capacity. But what you want for coolant is stuff that doesn't boil easily. I guess that's the point. Uh, this boils at 78, so yeah, that's bad. I'm still not even sure if this is going to work. I might need a much longer pipe. That kind of goes on a magical journey past some temp shift plates down here. There's also a wheeze wart, which... Planter bar, blah, 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 absorb heat. What do they consume? Oh, wait, what? Vacuum. Consuming vacuum? That, that makes literally no sense. Um, there's carbon dioxide right here, though. I'm really confused. Hmm. I am confused. It says consumes 250 grams of gas. Does it just consume any gas? If it did, why is it not consuming the, uh, <laughs> the carbon dioxide? That's very confusing to me. Now, sleet wheat, I remember being pretty strong as well, um, processing the sleet wheat grain, but you need dirt and water. That's where hydroponics are really nice. And you have to keep them cool at five degrees Celsius. And they're in 18 cycle growth. So they do not grow quickly. But one sleet wheat grain turns into these frost buns. How many units does it give you when it produces sleet wheat grain? 18 produced per harvest. So that's six of these frost buns per... Well, it's just one per cycle is a way to think about it. So that's 400 K cows of frost bun per cycle. But if you're combining it with uh, something else, it can get even better. Interesting. Interesting. I'm sure the numbers have changed since the last time I played, but why is this not getting water to it? Is it just not a high priority? Okay, it's on people's list. It's just not a high priority. And it seems like it's never getting done. So let's set it to number six. Storage continues to fill up. However, if storage is filling up, that means they're finally cleaning up, which means my dupes aren't doing much. If I was being extra efficient, I would make them actually in it. Um, I would actually make them be doing something rather than cleanup is the most useless of all errands. Oh, I need a demolition skill for that. Interesting. Okay, you've got your coolant. 400 kilograms of liquid. And there we go. Iron ore to iron, please. Make 10 of it. 
And who who runs this thing? Lodro, you're the one that can do it. Our resident doctor also happens to make refined metal. You know, just makes sense. It just makes sense. Oh, sweet corn whiskey can do it too? Wait, I have two people that can refine metal? Isn't that a... Sp don't you need a special... Uh... Is it tinkering? What do you need? Or do you not? Refining... Uh, category... Wouldn't it say here if duplicants needed a special thing to run it? It does usually say, right? Like, uh, in the... The critter... Yeah, it does say only duplicants with critter whatever can use this, so... I guess... Yeah, grooming station... Okay, so I guess you don't need a special skill for the metal refinery. But yeah, let's uh let's take a close look here at temperatures. So the temperature that's coming in is 18 degrees. And the temperature that's going out is yet to be determined. Got to finish the work again. Okay, I think it just did. There we go. 45 degrees. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not changing. That's not cooling off anywhere near enough. Cools off a couple degrees by the time it gets back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is where we really need radiant pipes. Um, to, to speed up that. And we also need this to be submerged in water. So, uh, what's the easiest way to do this? Um, I have metal now. I could make those two radiant pipes. That would help a little bit. Maybe I'll start with that. Because, yeah, this is pretty soon just going to be pipe damage and water everywhere. And that's a problem. Oh, wait. Can I change this valve? Um, no, it needs duplicant errands. Get that done. Wait, why are they... What just got deconstructed? Oh, it was just rebuilding the... Radiant pipe. There we go. So what are you, what are you different? Thermal conductivity, 110. Holy moly. Now, it is averaged. Um, so it'll be averaging the thermal conductivity of water. Which is 0.6. <laughs> with 110 so it'll it'll end up transferring 50 times the temperature difference between the pipe the problem is that um temperature is about zero into the water i don't know it'll be better than it was before But this is going to quickly become... Oh, interesting. So is that the one it's about to use? Is that why it has two separate water contents? The temp shift is at negative 30. So that's good. Hmm. I guess what we want is really some sort of 
Yeah, I didn't build this very well. Let's move... The, ah! The valve... Sideways, which... I keep hitting R to rotate, which is understandable, you know, given that that's usually the thing that does rotating in games. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to change a lot of this around. Oh, and that froze to... Right, water turns to ice. How could I forget? LOL. This is kind of a, a train wreck, isn't it? We'll figure it out. Ugh. You know what I need to reduce dupe labor is build one of these smart batteries as soon as I can. Power leak, 400 joules per cycle. That's one-fifth of the power leak of a jumbo battery. So... That's a pretty big deal. Oh, was that was there oxalite up here? There might have been. Oh, there is, yeah. Interesting. I mean, I shouldn't complain. This is mainly here to produce oxygen more than it is, and it's much more automated. It just requires water. So that's far more automated than the previous system of feeding a billion of these. But those are there to get rid of carbon dioxide, which they are doing a good job of that. So those are my CO2 scrubbers. And the nice thing is, as the CO2 disappears, they stop running, which means they won't... Um, they stop running. It's like it's a machine. They stop growing, which will reduce dupe labor over time once the CO2 runs out. So, the dupe labor will only be needed to maintain the CO2 scrubbing for those. So, all in all, it works out pretty well. Um, I'm going to make a ladder down to there. The piping... I want to redirect... Kind of down... And then up. I need to go. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to replace these with tiles. Maybe an airflow tile. And then I can put the piping in that tile. So yeah, I want it to kind of come out here. Go down into some water. Snake around. And come back. Hopefully that's enough. And then this guy will have a liquid valve. Mm hmm. Eventually, I'll learn the buttons here. So, deconstruct those two. Radiant liquid pipe. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Uh, yeah. Deconstruct that. That's fine. Um... And then piping will go, so the valve will be there, so it'll go this way. And then I can do a liquid valve here. Because basically we want to pump until wa enough water is in the system and then we want to stop doing that. And then the plumbing. I have enough for four radiant pipes. So the bottom three for sure. Probably that one. That doesn't seem to be working. Interesting. 
but you can't give a new order of a new material over the top of the old one. You have to just delete and redo. There we go. And then I want temp shift plates. What's also interesting is you can make temp shift plates out of ice. Which I just remembered. Um, and they end up melting down into water. So that's... Where is it? Utilities? Interesting. Does that help me, or would it freeze the water? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna make two out of Cinnabar. We're gonna do six tension plates there. Plants have died. What? Oh, just because of the heat. Yeah. Yeah, that's to be expected. I am gonna accept that loss. I'll have to move pike apples a bit further over, I think, eventually. F6 is the... And seven is gas, six is liquid. Five is light, which feels way less important than gas and liquid. I don't know who decided the order of these, but I don't know if I'm really jamming with it. It feels really weird. And like the oxygen one is only sort of important because you kind of get the same information by just looking at the materials overlay with with gas. And it's often more helpful. I, the only thing that this doesn't show you is pressure, whereas this kind of shows you the the pressure of oxygen. So that's sort of important, but obviously power is important, temp is important, materials, but light being F5 feels weird. That should be one of the later ones, because plumbing and gas are way more important than light. So I don't know why that's in front. Obviously the more important ones should be smaller because they're easier to reach with your hand. So from like a physical playing of the game perspective, it matters a little bit. Now I'm gonna start melting ice up here eventually. I wonder how long that's gonna take. Eventually that will be a problem. So I'll need to put a ceiling of tiles in here. You know what? It's already a problem. All of this hydrogen is unused power. And it's never gonna get used. I mean, it's fine now, once that's kind of, you know, the right density, it'll just stay there, so I guess I'll ignore it, but, all right, we're getting this done. I'm going to build those there, because those are ice tiles. Oh, no, 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 that, that does not block water. Does not obstruct liquid or gas flow. Blocks liquid flow. Oh, this does block liquid flow, okay. Then that's what we want. Oop, cold damage. And we're getting all sorts of damages here. This is so complicated. At this tech level, it's so hard to figure out how to do a metal refinery the right way. Probably should have gone over here and used my polluted water. Um... Because that has a wider range of temperatures, it can be, but still pretty rough. Maybe these temp shift plates will finally make everything work nicely together. They don't have a ton of heat capacity, but they're 800 grams. So that really helps out with the lower heat capacity, for sure. Okay. So we've got the input water. The problem is the output pipe doesn't have a path. So as soon as that one gets built, this should start running again.
And I'm gonna turn this off, actually. Yeah, you guys don't like being over here because there's no oxygen. Sorry about ya. Hey, we got the, the egg incubator. Now what does that take to build? I'm curious. Refined metal. Of course it does. Everything needs refined metal. Critter trap, fish trap, airborne critter trap. Eventually you can use eggs as a uh, food. Snazzy suit. Ooh. Sure. Who gets to wear that? Alright. Who's the lucky one? Edison. Edison gets the snazzy suit. Good for you. Alright. We should be good now. Output pipe full. Crap. Um, mm, do I have the ability yet to empty pipe? I forget. No! Colony lacks the plumbing skill. Okay, who can get the plumbing skill? Who's... You. Bulby. You're the one. You're the one. You get plumbing. Okay, so now it should... Remove that error message. Alright. Priorities, Bulby. Bulby has ranching and farming up really high, though, is the problem. So he's not going to do plumbing. Unless I do that. Will be not allowed by schedule. Well, I know that. Everyone's sleeping. Oh, interesting. It's it's two types of errand types. Tidying and supplying. Is it or or and? Huh. Okay, Bulby, come on. Get this done. And the liquid valve is officially... Yeah. Lock, that's good. Did did get plumbing going, okay. So we are good on that. I have lots of skill points, but the problem is my morale isn't that high, so I'm scared to to grab more. I guess Metamite could use something else. He's only got morale need of one. You can go up on tinkering. Hmm. No one has art, so Lodro could get some art going. These pipes are taking damage because the water's freezing. This is such a mess. Oh god, I need the environment to be cold, but not too cold. And these temp shift plates are making everything get damaged because it's so cold. It's like I need it to be a little warmer. But that needs the metal refinery to run. But the output pipe is full. This is a total mess. Um. Okay, I think we just need one more. Then will it run? Yep. 
Yeah, I think it'll run now. Okay, so then you can stop emptying the pipe. How do I? Do I have to go back to this button? To cancel it? Oh, there we go. Just regular cancel. Okay. Alright, everybody is figuring this crap out. We basically want this to be a, a warm-ish pool of water. But then it's eventually going to get too hot, and I'm going to have to cool it down. I'm uncertain how I'm going to do that part. But the first step is getting it warm enough that the water's not freezing. And we are unfortunately not accomplishing that. Running the metal refinery, we'll get that done though. Oh geez. Oh geez. <laughs> this is a total mess. Yeah, continuing to cool off the water, it's like I need petroleum. Uh, which is probably down south somewhere. But we need a fluid that doesn't freeze at cold temperatures. What's brine? Brine is negative 22 to 102? Hmm. So brine isn't terrible, because it can go down to negative 22. That is still not quite enough. We need something that can go down to like negative 50 to get to fetch cold out of this environment and then come back up here and, and cool this down. Oh, and I'm out of iron ore. That should be fixable. Uh, metal. Yeah, I've got some... Iron and cinnabar look very similar. Cinnabar, cinnabar... Here, iron. There. There's a bunch right there. Priority six, that. Okay, I think I need to call this the end of the episode. This has already been a little too long. But, we are slowly getting refined metal at a great cost of dupe labor. But, you know, dupe labor's free, right? All it takes is time. And right now, we're fairly sustainable. Our wood pile is actually growing. So, wood is sustainable. Oxygen is sustainable, other than the cost of some phosphorite and ice. But the map has enough for, like, thousands of cycles of that. So... I would almost say those are infinite. They're technically not, but by the time it's gonna matter, we're gonna we're gonna have many other options available. And so we really are sustainable already. Um, the only small thing is like polluted water's filling up. I can easily grow that storage though. And what else is not sustainable? I think that's pretty much it. The food is sustainable. I might need a little bit more of it now that those plants are done. Um, but yeah, we're doing pretty well. So with that, we'll call it the end of the episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.